Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to show this before I get too far. Um, I've been wanting to tilt this steering wheel uh, a lot further for like a long time <clears throat> and I'm just now getting around to it. So this is how far it tilts. That's the furthest it will tilt. Um, I'd love for it to tilt a lot further down. Um, so the way to do it, what's stopping it is there's this plastic piece here. It's like a little collar, but inside there, there's a white stopper. And all you have to do is take that out in order to uh, get this to tilt wherever you want it. <clears throat> so I don't know if you can see that white stopper in there. Yep. So that needs to come out. And I've been seeing a lot of guys breaking this plastic off and then breaking the the white piece off as well well i want to figure out a way if i can unbolt and undo some of this stuff and just slide it out that's the way i want to do it i don't want to get in here and start drilling and i feel like that's going to be way more of a hassle so far it looks like if i take this bolt out it'll pretty much allow this sleeve to come out but that's not guaranteed so uh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna keep digging around in here and see what's the easiest way to do that we'll see all right guys so i got the plastic piece out that was wrapped around here all i did was take a screwdriver like a flathead put it at the the top here or actually i put it in the center first split it and you know with a hammer so i got a hammer and a flathead and then i went here and i just started sliding it all the way down and then cracked it um so now the plan is uh, i'm probably just gonna try to drill this and just break this piece out it's not that big and i feel like if i try to take any of this stuff out it's just gonna be way too much um i don't want to disturb any tolerances that might be here or specs like no nah, that's just too much so i'm gonna try to go at it with this and then i'll let you guys know what happens okay guys oh it was a lot of finesse a lot of mess um but finally got got that out of there um i had i, I forgot i had my drill with me so drilling a couple holes in there obviously it's not gonna you know cut it straight down or anything but drilling a couple holes in and then grabbing like a flathead screwdriver with like a hammer and breaking it and it it, it takes a lot of patience to really get it but you know i got flathead you get your flathead in in there and you kind of just you know open the spring up and then just just hammer the hell out of it um basically just be creative on how you're gonna break it without tearing up this spring too bad but anyways let's look at the finished product and let's see if it was even worth going through that headache so uh i i would say that tilted it like quite a bit I really, really like that now, you know, now sitting in here, the steering wheel is way closer to me so I can actually sit back and be comfortable on long drives. Uh, I think before it was somewhere in here. Uh, yeah. So I was kind of somewhere in here now. Wow. I mean, that's, that's quite a bit. Still see all my gauges steering wheels super tilted i like it like this so uh i think it was definitely worth it it was free <laughs> um but yeah definitely a a good 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 deal there anyways guys sorry i haven't really been too active on posting videos kind of kind of going through like a transition of like uh you know a transitional period trying to figure things out and um trying to have better content also but uh small videos like this might might work out and and uh you guys might like it but 
I figure I might as well uh, document this for the next guy that's trying to figure out how to tilt their steering wheel because I know the 389s, a couple things the 389s didn't come with that were uh, nice like the 379s is one thing is the mirrors are always way higher on the 389 from factory. That is, you know, a 12 gauge mirror bracket. So it dropped my mirrors way down. If you can see, I can almost see my half fenders through the top mirror and I got no air in my seat. So your visual, you know, visually you can see really well with those. And then also the steering wheel. I, I, I always hated how high the steering wheel sat in these things, but, uh, anyways, hopefully, uh, this helps somebody out and, uh, get out there and work on your hot rods, guys. Do it yourself. Don't be afraid to do this stuff yourself. So anyways, we'll see you on the next one.